Hello and welcome to our 30 minute prenatal yoga. Today is all about rest and restoration. So our restorative yoga practice is made to really calm our sympathetic nervous system, to bring our anxieties down, calm our heart rate, and just let us kind of be in the moment with our baby and our bodies. You will see that we need a lot of props for this practice. So depending on where you are at in your pregnancy, um, I would encourage you to push pause and go around your house and collect either bed pillows, couch cushions, a couple blankets or beach towels. Um, I'm sure you don't have four yoga blocks at home. If you do, that's really amazing. But you could also um, just grab an extra pillow. Um, to prop up our other pillows or bolsters. So again, feel free to use the pause button as we come into each pose if you need to grab some extra resources to support your body and support your baby a little bit more. Um, you are ultimately the master of knowledge of your body in your pregnancy in your baby. So I encourage you to trust that through this practice. And with that being said, we're going to get started in a reclined position. So we will grab two blocks. If you've got two blocks at home, super. If not, you could grab a more firm couch cushion or a couple books or shoe boxes work just fine as well. And for this, we'll take one bolster or one other pillow. And um, it is really important to make sure you get down safely, either to a reclined position or um, all the way down into a sideline position. So traditionally, a lot of us would just sit right here and roll on back, lots of intra-abdominal pressure here. So what I'm going to encourage you to do is to come sideways, so the bolster or pillow or whatever you're using for support is at an angle, kind of perpendicular to your hip, and we'll slide our way back and then roll to your back. Now you have a lot of options for your legs here. This is our first shape of our practice, so you might just send them nice and long. You might take soles of the feet together and let your knees open wide if you're feeling tight through the inner thighs or the hips. You could also plant the feet and rest the knees against one another. And here's a great option for your arms. Take your palms up to your ceiling and just let the pectoral muscles from the growing chest open, shoulders coming back towards the earth versus, for many of us, a common forward leaning position in our shoulders. And let's take a few breaths to welcome ourselves to this practice, to welcome our baby to this practice. I'll invite you to take some breaths with me. Inhaling through your nose. Feel baby and belly expand. Big exhale through the mouth. Good, breathing in. Exhale here. One more full breath. and soften. I give you the opportunity to give yourself permission to let go here for these next 30 minutes or so. Pregnancy is stressful. Parenting is stressful. So we utilize our breath and slowing down in this practice to bring us back to, to restore us back to our state of a sense of calm and peace and tranquility, just for a few brief, brief moments. In our practice today, we'll hold these poses for a bit longer, which is why it's really important to set yourself up in a supported, comfortable position. Again, you know what is comfortable in your body, and it might take a little bit for you to notice if you need more pillows or a blanket. And 
If you find your mind wandering here, bring it back to your breath, sending breath all the way to the base of your pelvis surrounding and supporting your baby. We will be here for about another minute or so. If you'd like, I'll give you the option of taking the hands either down towards the earth, so taking kind of an internal rotation in the shoulders, planting your hands a little bit closer to your body, or feeling free if you're comfortable bringing your hands to your baby and just giving them a little love, maybe a little belly rub. Finding gratitude for this practice, gratitude for our health, for our baby's health. Let's take two more breaths together here. A nice big inhale through your nose. Exhale to soften. Breathing in. and breathing out. Wherever your legs are, check in and we will bend into the knees, feet come to the mat, hands come down at your side body here and take a little windshield wiper back and forth. You might feel this feels really good on your glutes. A little bit of kind of a glute massage. Excellent, and we'll come out of this reclined position just as safely and mindfully as we went in. So you'll roll off to one side, good, and then use the strength of your arms to push your way up. Excellent work. We're going to do a little bit of work now into our thoracic um, mid-back, our thoracic spine. So you can move props out of the way, just kind of keeping inventory of where you're setting everything. And we will come back to a side lying position. So we're gonna take this on each side. So um, I'll come down to my right side body to show you first. So slide your way down. Good, you might actually take an extra blanket underneath your head. Um, it supports the neck a little bit more. And arms will come straight out here. So my right arm is down, my right palm is to the sky. Left arm is coming on top like you're giving yourself a high five. What we're going to do here, my knees are stacked. If it's more comfortable for you, you could even take um, a pillow in between. But what we're going to do, I'll show you where we're going first, is as we inhale here, open up the left arm, my gaze will follow. And when you start to feel your knees lifting off the mat, that's the end range of motion. So your left arm might not touch the uh, floor behind you. Good, exhale, bring it back in. Follow your breath here, inhale to open. Gaze follows, exhale to close. Great work, two more. Inhale to open, close it in as you exhale. Nice, last one here. Inhale to open and exhale to close. Beautiful job. What we'll do here is we're going to open and stay for a few breaths. Left arm comes out. Now again, it might not come all the way down without the knees lifting. You could also take the left hand to the low back for a little support. Your gaze might gently come towards the left shoulder or it might stay up towards your ceiling. Letting the heart space open here with just a bit of time. Good, two more breaths. Let it go as you exhale. Good. One more breath here. Stay for your exhale. Now we'll move to the other side. So you can slowly, gently turn to kind of like a bridge pose and then slowly, gently turn towards your left side body. 
Left arm comes out down towards the earth. Right arm comes on top. And let's open five full breaths. Inhale to open the right arm up. And you might notice you have a little more range of motion on this side and that's okay. Exhale to close it in. Four more breaths here. I notice some differences in my body. Maybe you do too. Not necessarily a bad thing, just something to be aware of. Exhale, close it in. Use your breath to guide your movement. Two more breaths here. Inhale to open. Exhale. Great job. Last one here. Close it in. High five. Right hand meets the left. And we open one final time and stay. Right arm can stay out or might come to the low back for a little bit of support. And gaze might come right or more towards the ceiling if that feels a little bit more comfortable on your neck. Good. Two more breaths. One more breath in. And full breath out. Good. Now we're already in this safe sideline position here. So bring your right hand down to the mat, come back into the sideline and use the strength of your hands to push your way up. Good. We'll come on up to a seat here and we're going to then roll all the way over to our tabletop position. If your knees are a little bit tender, your wrists are a little bit tender, feel free to bring in an extra blanket. Again, it's good to have extra props, especially if you're practicing on like a hardwood floor if it doesn't have as much give as carpet might be. So our wrists are directly underneath our hands, knees underneath hips, or maybe perhaps a bit wider, feels more comfortable in your body. And we'll just find some sways, maybe some rounds of our cat pose, some wiggles of the hips. Let this feel intuitive, organic, comfortable in your body. There's no wrong choice, okay? So this is a great thing to get familiar with is just asking yourself in this moment what feels good in my body for myself and my baby. Good, you might tuck your toes and take some leaning back. It's a great stretch into the feet, help the blood flow keep flowing so we don't get or try to avoid swelling into the feet. Good. If your wrists are tender here, come on down to your forearms. That's a great choice too. And just stay for a few breaths where it might feel good. Knowing it's always a choice to linger in a position that feels restorative and comfortable for you. Great. We will... Take a few breaths here. Um, so these breaths are called hug the baby or full belly, full diaphragmatic breath. So I want you to think about as you inhale, you're softening belly, softening into baby, kind of letting everything go. And as you exhale, I want to think, I want you to think about hugging your baby almost up and in towards your heart space. So it's not a sucking in the belly, it's a gentle contraction of the muscles that surround your um, spine called the posterior chain all the way in through your deep muscles, your deep core, your transverse abdominis, kind of in through the obliques as well. So this is really activating our full um, core, all of our core muscles as a safe core workout breath for pregnancy. So come on back to your tabletop here. And I like to take as I exhale an SH sound. You might um, make a silent breath. You might make an HA sound. Take whatever feels most comfortable and natural in your body. As we inhale here, soften belly, soften baby, let go. You might even feel a tiny little drop of the low back. As you exhale, find that out breath. Shh. Hugging baby from back to front, front to back. Great. Soften as you inhale. Exhale. Let's take two more. Inhale to soften. 
exhale. Wonderful job. Last one. Let it go. Giving baby a final hug. Great job. Good. Find some movement here. And those breaths are so wonderful to become familiar with. So you can take them throughout your pregnancy all the way up until you're delivering your baby. So what's great about that is the full diaphragmatic breath as the diaphragm expands, expands up and down, especially downward, we're giving some nice pressure and stimulation for the pelvic floor. So it's a really great breath to become familiar with. It's also safe postpartum, if you have a vaginal delivery safe right away to come back to those connect to the core, hug the belly breaths. Um, if you do have a cesarean, generally we recommend that you wait a few weeks to, re, uh, re, to restart this breath. Um, always ask your care provider if you have questions. So this is not medical advice. All right. Um, next, we are going to take a wide leg forward fold. So first and foremost, let's set our seat up. So we're taking a little bit of a forward pelvic tilt. So I'm going to grab my blanket. Um, let's see, and grab lots of pillows or blocks. I think two pillows might be a great place to go for me today. And everyone's range of motion and flexibility is a bit different. So you might have really tight hamstrings. That's okay. That's why we're bringing in all these pillows to give us more support. Now take, you'll um, prop your seat up onto a blanket or a beach towel. And I want you to take your hand, right hand under your right butt cheek, left hand under the left, and kind of move that fleshy uh, glute muscles out of the way so you can really feel the base of your pelvis connected with your blanket or whatever's supporting you. Now, if you have really tight hamstrings, you might roll up a towel. You could put a block underneath each knee or give a little bend into each knee. That would be a great choice too. And your wide leg might be here, might be here. It's okay, it doesn't matter. It's not about how it looks, it's about how it feels. So stacking these up, I'm going to hinge forward and you'll see I've still got, gosh, this, I, I need some more support here. So it's nice to have things close by. You can, maybe I'll take another block or two to just set myself up a little bit more here. All right, now get my base of the pelvis connected. Oh, see, now I've got lots of support here. As I lean forward, I'm not putting too much pressure on my hamstrings because we've brought the earth up to support our torso and our head. Oh, way better. So if you're finding that your shoulders and your head are like hanging in space, more pillows, more blankets, okay? This is a restorative practice. We don't want to stretch our bodies too far. So there's a hormone in pregnancy and even postpartum when you're breastfeeding or pumping um, called relaxin. And it's made to loosen into the joints and the tendons to give you space to birth your baby. With that being said, that's why we want to bring in props. We don't want to stretch too far. Often when we take these big deep stretches that aren't supported, we're actually going further than what's beneficial for our body. So we don't want to do more harm in these deep stretches. That's why we bring in support. Ah, oh, great. Let's take a cleansing breath. Inhale through your nose all the way down to baby. Big exhale to let go. You may notice as you're here for a little bit that you can fold a little bit deeper into this. You can feel free to go there or you can kind of back off to like 80% or so. Again, we don't need to stretch too far. The purpose of this practice is to be supported and safe, comfortable. You should still feel, even with all this support, two bolsters for me and two blocks, I still feel a gentle stretch to my calves and my hamstrings into where they connect into my glutes. So we'll just take a few more breaths here. If your mind wanders again, when you find a bit of stillness in your body, 
Come back to your breath, sending your breath to your baby. Got two more breaths. One more nice big breath in. Stay for the exhale. We will come out of this just as slowly and mindfully as we came in. So you might start to just lift the head, lift the torso. You can send your props out of the way here. And I love kind of creating a mess here with all our props. After a forward fold, I love to invite a little bit of openness into the torso and the chest. So you might walk your hands behind you, maybe bend into your knees a little bit. You can windshield wiper back and forth. You might draw the shoulder blades and elbows towards one another behind you. Lift your gaze. Let this feel really great to open through the collarbones, through the heart space, even through the throat as you might take your gaze towards the ceiling or a bit behind you. Good. Chin comes back towards chest and we'll just come to a crisscross here. Our hips are still propped up. So we've got a little bit of that forward tilt of the pelvis and just find some nice movements here. Like we are stirring a big pot of stew with our spine. Good, switch directions here. And as you find some movement, I'll let you know where we're going next. We're going to my most favorite ever pose. It's called deer pose, and it is a supported twist. So oftentimes in pregnancy, you'll hear like, oh, don't twist, it's not good for your baby. We just wanna make sure we're plenty of support. So even here, let's take a seated twist together. Um, what would not be great for pregnancy is if we took one leg over and we're twisting in this closed twist belly towards thigh, we are not giving baby enough space. So that's not a safe twist for pregnancy. Here, if we took this open twist, plenty of room for your baby here, and it feels really good into the spine, into the neck. So let's take, um, let's take that twist. So I've got my right knee bent, my right foot planted to the outside of my left leg. We're going to twist opposite, so an open twist versus a closed twist. If we twist towards our front leg, towards the right leg, closed twist. Safer, not folks that are not pregnant. Let's take this open twist. So take your right arm to the inside of the right leg, left hand either behind you or to the low back, and take this nice gentle opening. Good, this is a safe open twist for you and your baby. Good, let's come back through center. L um, right leg goes long this time. Bend into the left knee, and you can help left foot to the outside of your right leg. Again, we're not gonna take the closed twist towards the left thigh, let's take the open option. So left arm comes to the inside of your left knee, right hand behind, and take the twist towards the right. And this is just a real subtle, gentle movement here. For the most part, belly and baby is still forward. We're just taking this twist from like the mid back into the shoulders and the neck, which often are really tight in pregnancy. Good, let's take the gaze forward, legs long, and we'll move into now that we took the seated twist, now we'll move into a supported twist, our deer pose. So I'll give you an option here. And again, you survey what props you have I'm going to take a block to the high setting. So you could take a pillow, a shoe box, whatever you have, and I'm going to set up my bolster here. And I'm going to, we're going to start on the right side. So just like we set up our ramp for our reclined position, this is how we're going to set up our twist. So I've got um, the bolster coming straight out from my right hip, my right thigh, um, is about parallel with like the short edge of the mat. You could take your right shin parallel with the long edge and then left thigh parallel with right shin. 
left shin parallel with short edge of the mat. This is an option for your legs. If that doesn't feel good, my friends, tuck your feet in and bring everything a little bit closer to your body and your pelvis. Good. Now hands, one hand comes on each side and we'll lean on down. And what's great about this, be careful when you lean on this. My block was a little unsteady. You might bring your hands under like you're hugging your pillow. You could bring hands on the sides. And you might notice as your pregnancy progresses that you need a little bit of extra support underneath your baby. So that's where you might choose to bring in that extra blanket. <sighs> All right. So we've got about two minutes here. If um, another option for your legs, friends, is taking the left leg and bringing it on top of the right. So stacking your knees, stacking your thighs, that actually feels a little bit more comfortable in my body today. So don't be afraid to be curious if something doesn't feel quite right. Wiggle around, make sure you know that you always have choices. You could bring a blanket in between the knees here or a pillow. Good. And we'll just take a few <sighs> breaths. What I love about this is um, bringing some awareness into our side body here that's supported by the pillow or whatever you chose. As you inhale, you might feel that side body expand into what is supporting you and exhale to soften into the earth. Good. It's just a nice way to bring some breath awareness if your mind kind of starts to wander to the to-do list or whatever you need to take care of. Utilizing where am I feeling my breath in my body? You want to take the breath out of the throat, out of the upper neck, into our side body, our back body all the way down to baby. We'll take three more breaths here. One more full breath. Full exhale, good. Now we'll come up nice and safe here. Use the strength of your arms, push the floor away, good. And you might want to take seat to the mat, knees, windshield wipers. So just check in where does your body want to go after that restorative pose. And then we'll send everything to the other side. So you might just simply shift with your left hip for camera's sake here, we'll shift. Bring the block to the mat. Bolster from the left hip. Again, your knees could be stacked. You could slide the top right leg back. It might be a different variation than what you took on the first side, that's okay. Not, our, our left and right are never created exactly equal. So you might feel very different sensations depending on your positioning of your baby or just in general if you had a um, injury on, on one side a lot of different things that make us a little bit asymmetrical from one side to the other. So recline. Oh, this is, this is my favorite pose, my friends. You might hug the blanket or the bolster or the blanket or whatever you're reclining onto. You might leave your hands down at your sides. Legs could be separated here or you could stack the right leg on top of the left and just settle in to your breath. Notice your breath into your left side body here. Once again, we'll spend about maybe another minute and a half here. And don't get too caught up in the time. Just letting yourself be with your body and your baby and your breath. And you might need to take some subtle shifts in your body once you're in a shape, and that's okay. 
feeling empowered to take what you need in each and every moment. Excellent. About three more breaths together here. Last big exhale out. Great work. Ground down into your hands, push down to lift the torso. Great job. And our last pose is an inversion, which again, sometimes you hear that inversions are not safe for pregnancy. Well, we're going to keep our head above our heart, so that should, if you're dealing with any acid reflux or heartburn, that should help. Um, but it is really great to lift our legs to kind of reverse that blood flow a little bit. So this takes quite a bit of setup. So that's why I wanted and have all of this stuff. So we're going to set up our ramp to recline just as we did for our first shape of our practice, that reclined position. So take one block on this tall setting one block on the medium setting or whatever you have again to ramp your pillow up I'm losing my hair here and then you'll see i've got all of these other props that have been sitting here waiting patiently to be used what we're going to do is set those up um, you could take i i think what would actually be easier than using two individual bolsters is like a square couch cushion so we'll set these up and you could take um, one or two smaller couch cushions underneath to then create some ramps or ramp a bigger couch cushion. Again, I told you this takes a little bit of time to get into, but once you get there, it's so great. Okay. So, a little tricky to get into. So we're going to recline, slide our way down. Good. Roll to your back. Again, if you're in your third trimester and you're like trying to maneuver baby, maneuver belly. Yes, here we go, here you have it. It's almost like a reclined boat pose. A um, Little bit of different variation of our um, legs up the wall obviously legs up the wall we'd be fully reclined onto our back might not be as comfortable for you you could also what i love if you've got an extra blanket close by um bringing it kind of to the midsection over baby almost like a little bit of a weighted blanket and this posture in itself when we um you know, lift the legs, reverse the blood flow is shown to calm our central nervous system, decrease our heart rate, decrease feelings of anxiety. So this is a great pose to kind of check in with what you have in your environment that you could recreate this shape. It feels so great. And you've got options with your arms. You could take the same arm variation that we took for our first shape of our practice, arms out nice and wide, palms to the sky. Feels really good into the chest and heart space. A really great stretch for postpartum as well, regardless of how you choose to feed your baby. Just takes the shoulders down towards the earth. Little stretch into the pectoral muscles. You could also, if you're looking for a little bit more grounding or connection to your baby here, you could bring your hands to your babe. or hands down at your sides to connect with Mother Earth. Always feeling empowered to take what feels best in your body. And this is where we're going to close our practice today. So we're going to spend a bit of time. If you still feel a little bit of energy or your mind is racing, let's take a full breath in together. Exhale, let go. 
remind yourself that you have control over your breath. Your breath is a tool. If your mind still is spinning, I invite you to, as you inhale, just repeat to yourself, inhale, breathe in. And as you exhale, say exhale or breathe out. Good. Mind can only hold one conscious thought at a time. So if you give it a mantra or an intention with your breath, your mind can't circle, cycle, snowball to our to-do list. So breathe in. And breathe out. Inhale. Exhale. I am at peace. I trust my intuition. Breathe in. Breathe out. Any of these words, phrases, mantras work to keep your mind focused. benefit of this practice is if you have time, you can let this recording end and you can stay to keep our practice about 30 minutes. We'll start to, I'll start to guide you out of this shape. But please feel free to stay if you find comfort and you have time. So I want to remind you in these moments, there is nowhere else you need to be, nothing else you need to be doing. In this brief moment, there's no one else that needs you. So I encourage you to find some gratitude for taking time for your body, your mind, your baby, your heart, your soul. Taking time for yourself to restore. To come out of this, you might start to gently kind of roll into the ankles, maybe take a little wiggle of the head side to side. Take these movements nice and gentle, maybe point and flex the toes, the feet. Good. I think personally the easiest way to come out of this is to bend and take the feet almost to like straddle. And actually that doesn't feel very easy in my body today, but then roll off to one side. So you might take one leg if you've got two pillows in between. It's a little awkward getting out, or you could just do this and like kick them all out of the way. <laughs> Get them out of the way, good. And we roll our way up to a seat. And we will close our practice. If you're choosing to close your practice here and now, um, we'll bring left hand to our heart space, right hand to your growing baby chin to chest. Find gratitude for this opportunity to restore, to let go, to just be with our bodies and our babies and our breath. I appreciate you showing up. We will close our practice with three deep breaths, inhaling through the nose, let it go through the mouth, breathe in and breathe out, 
one more full breath in and let go. Thank you so much for joining in for this restorative prenatal yoga practice. I appreciate you and I know your body, your heart, your soul, your baby appreciates you for taking this time to rest and let go. So thank you. As always, the light and the love in me sees and honors the light and the love in you. Namaste. Thank you so very much for tuning in. Again, my name is Kristen here from Haumea. You can find us on the internet at haumeayoga.com or don't forget to hit that subscribe button here on YouTube. Have a beautiful day.